Masa Sin Just a few minutes, which first we will have main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation and second engine startup one. So first main engine cutoff or MECO is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines that you can currently see firing will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. And this is where the first and second stages will separate with the first stage starting to make its way back down to Earth for landing while second stage continues on its journey to the third event which is second engine startup one. And this is where the single MVAC engine on the second stage will light up. And this propels the MVAC, uh, propels the second stage along with our Starlink satellites to their targeted orbit. We're about 30 seconds from main engine cutoff here. You'll wanna watch for uh, main engine cutoff, stage separation and SES-1 will happen just a few seconds apart from one another. We will also have our fairing deployment from our second stage uh, very shortly after those three events, and we should hopefully get some cool live views from our second stage. You can see the Falcon 9 first stage going through uh, the mist there. Stage separation confirmed. We did have main engine cutoff and stage separation. You can see second engine startup. We did have MVAC ignition, that is second engine startup. On those live views from the second stage on your right, you can see the first stages for- Fairing separation confirmed. <laughs> Fairing has also separated on our second stage. You can see our 53 Starlink satellites there. And there on your left, the first stages, four hypersonic group fins have deployed. And again, we did have that successful fairing separation and fairing, uh, SpaceX has now reflown Falcon fairing halves since November of 2019. And again, this was our third flight for one of those fairing halves and second flight for the other half. We'll be attempting to recover those fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel, Finn. The stage two is heading towards its targeted drop-off orbit for our Starlink satellites, and stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines will reignite, and this helps slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. You can see those beautiful views from the first and second stages. Those little puffs of white gas you see on the first stage are nitrogen gas from our attitude control system. And the second stage MVAC engine is continuing its burn carrying our 53 Starlink satellites. If you're just catching up with us, we had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Slick 40, and you're looking at live views of Falcon 9's first and second stages. 
a second stage is on its way to deliver our Starlink payload to orbit, and stage one is making its way back to our drone ship, just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean. Now the Merlin's on the first stage. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories, as you just heard. And again, the nine Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level. So this means they achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And the MVAC engine on the second stage, by contrast, is optimized for vacuum. Uh, and it produces 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. You can see the first stage live views of the hypersonic grid fins, and they are positioned near the top of the first stage. And they're used for steering as the first stage makes its way back down to Earth. And again, these grid fins, you can see them moving around. Uh, they do help to orient the rocket during